Uh, there it is, heat advisory in effect for all of North Texas uh, until 7 p.m. tomorrow for heat index values up to 110. Most will be around 105 to 108, but occasionally a couple spikes because of the humidity will happen. A lot of Texas is under this too, uh, down into to Austin, over to Houston, Galveston, all of East Texas included in heat advisories. It's hot, it's June, it's almost July. Uh, 101, Monday, Tuesday, 102. Uh, so here we have Thursday, the uh, 4th of July. It'll be a hot one. 100 degrees with a heat index of 106. Very typically hot here at North Texas for the 4th of July. Let's talk about the latest on barrel. The, the very latest here. We still have a hurricane that is strengthening. That's becoming better organized tonight. It has intensified to winds of uh, 85 miles per hour with wind gust of 105 uh, with a movement of the west uh, 20 miles an hour. It's about 600 miles east of Barbados. So the Lesser Antilles tonight. Uh, under under tropical storm warnings and hurricane warnings as well. Uh, so you'll have tropical storm conditions kind of farther north, but this is exactly, you know, this is where it's expected to track. So you have hurricane warnings in place. So there's Bridgetown right there. Uh, that's where the, the worst of this is expected as it moves to the west. It'll become a major hurricane, a category three hurricane with winds in excess of 115, 120 miles an hour. This is 7 p.m. Uh, tomorrow, category three hurricane barrel, then it rolls through the Lesser Antilles up to 125 mile per hour winds Monday night. And as it goes through the Caribbean, it'll maintain some of its strength with winds of 115 uh, at seven o'clock on Tuesday. There's Jamaica. You can see it. It'll, you know, remember the, 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 the front right quadrant of these hurricanes are the, the most nasty parts of hurricanes, and it'll have winds of 100 miles per hour as it gets close to Jamaica. So we'll keep an eye on that. And then the latest track brings it into the Yucatan. Almost every margin of error brings it into the Yucatan Peninsula, uh, the farthest south into Central America, farther north into the Gulf of Mexico. And a quick look tonight of the latest models showing the track of barrel beyond the you know kind of the general consensus here you can see it may re-enter uh, into the Gulf of Mexico after moving over the Yucatan it would likely have weakened at that point we'll watch it carefully as we get past the 4th of July you're looking at July 7th the end of this line would be July 7th we'll watch it very carefully to see where it tracks but you get the idea that most of the data does bring it back into the Gulf of Mexico could it impact Texas? It's possible, impossible to tell you exactly what and where, but it's something we'll have to keep an eye on. Tonight, mostly clear skies, dry, warm, and muggy. 82 tonight with south winds 5 to 15. Tomorrow, 100. Heat index values up to 110. There's the 14-day forecast. And the thing you're looking for is the relief. Well, it's not there. Well, okay, maybe a little bit. Saturday, does that count? 96 degrees. Uh, beyond that, Sunday, 93. That's something, right? 96 degrees on Monday, upper 90s Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll go right back up, though, for the middle of July uh, into the upper 90s around 100. So there you go.